All right, Capricorn, Gypsy Love Portal here. I'm going to be doing a love in general reading for July. It's still July, yes. <laughs> All right, so let's see, Capricorn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's see here. Capricorn. <clears throat> Capricorn, so. I'm just gonna be quick for you so you don't have to be there for too long <laughs> on this video but let's see what you need to know here you guys your love in general right if you're seeing a Sagittarius Capricorn if you're seeing a Sagittarius okay I feel that the connection is a bit rigid like you know um, strict like um, the Sagittarius listen they know what they want already out of the relationship so but they're willing to cut you off out of their life if you don't shape up if you don't work on something if you don't make something happen here they're willing to cut you off out of their lives they're willing to keep you too if you make things work the right way in the way they kind of see it you know but they're also they're like they're done with bullshit they're done with dealing with crap they're you know with you if you see a sagittarius they just want to you know, uh, take the relationship serious. They, they're they serious about the connection. So they're done fooling around. They don't wanna, they're not in high school anymore. Okay, this is how the Sagittarius is thinking, okay? If you're seeing a Scorpio Capricorn, this Scorpio is very happy to be with you or you're gonna make them very happy. They're gonna make you very happy. Take whatever that resonates. It could be vice versa, right? So this is a, a very a happy, joyous connection. You know, it's like, it's like feeling perfect together. Like there's there's love here, you know, and commitment, okay? If you've seen a Scorpio, um, kind of like together forever kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Together forever. If you're seeing a Libra Capricorn, if you're seeing a Libra, you guys might end up in marriage. And if you're married, uh, you might renew your marriage. I mean, uh, this is like, you know, vows exchange for me, the, the four of ones, celebration and things. So if you're seeing a Libra, they definitely want to marry you. They see you as a marriageable type kind of person. And, um, you know, it's possible that you guys might move in together or planning, you know, for some of you buying a home or live together, if not yet, you know. But anyways, the Libra wants to be with you, um, commitment, um, you know, vows, exchange, and all that good stuff. If you're seeing a Leo, Capricorn, if you're seeing a Leo, this Leo wants to settle down with you. They do, they do. This Leo here is also done looking around. Um, they're, uh, they know how to control their emotions, okay? They might not show you that they truly love you, but boy, they do. This Leo loves you very much, and they want to this is another one that it's willing to, uh, you know, uh, settle down and marry you, if not yet. That's good, Capricorn. The Leo is is also very uh, emotional, so careful with that. They're kind of gentle with their emotions, but they might not show that to you, though. But they have a lot of emotions for you. Oh, my gosh. Not just mentally, but physically. Okay. Um, if you've seen a Virgo... The Virgo wants to uh, go on a journey with you. They want to go all the way with you. They want to see where this relationship is going, where it's going to go. I mean, they want to go in one direction with you only. And I think we know what that means, right? Like, stay and, you know, have fun and, and just, you know, go all the way with you pretty much. That's the Virgo. They, 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 they see you and only you and they, they want to be with you and... This, this Virgo is not maneuvering nowhere else. They're going straight towards you. They, they want to go far with you within the connection, okay? If you've seen a Pisces, okay, Capricorn, if you've seen a Pisces, we have the Prince of Swords here. Um, the relationship might move, might, might 
happen too fast, you know, move, move in too fast. If you've seen the prices, somebody here might want to, you know, like uh, move in with you too fast or or marry you fast. You know, it's like they're, they're, they're not even thinking about the consequences. They're not even thinking about if it's a good thing or not. They're just like infatuated with you. So they just want to like make things happen real fast with you. Okay, Capricorn. <laughs> All right, and the, also the Pisces, they might be a little bit feisty, like argumentative. I can't even say it, like, you know, like argue sometimes here and there, you know, come at you like that sometimes as well. But they're just like a fast-paced kind of person, okay? Um, if you're seeing a Capricorn, if a Capricorn is seeing a Capricorn, this is not going to work out. You guys are going to argue too much or arguing too much, you know, it's like not getting along and it's like just nothing really in common right now uh you guys are just not getting along <laughs> or will not okay if a capricorn is seeing a capricorn right now there's too much competition arguments fighting yeah all that yucky stuff okay if you're seeing a taurus okay the taurus is uh trying to decide whether should i stay or should i go uh, you know, there's a path to choose. There's a decision that a Taurus here needs to make. But remember, when I say decision, Taurus needs to make, this could be possibly you having to make the decision because it could be a bit vice versa, right? So remember, I always got to remind you guys, take whatever resonates. So someone here is um, actually acting on something here where they have to make a decision in regards to the situation within the connection. And I feel they're trying to figure it out if they should stay or should I go or if they might be looking around, and, you know, different paths. I don't know. Take whatever that resonates. If you see an Aries, Capricorn, if you see an Aries, they just want to have fun and good time. Nothing serious with the Three of Cups. You know, they just want to have, you know, playful, good times and enjoy life and going with the flow and maybe seeing other people, you know, dating, you know, for some even open relationship. So if you're seeing an Aries, they are just not ready to settle down yet. They're still kind of maybe looking around or just want to have fun with you and not commit, okay? If you're seeing a Gemini Capricorn, uh, they're very defensive uh, within a connection. They believe something and they also believe in protecting the connection, okay? If you're seeing the um, Gemini, uh, they're willing to defend the connection. Any, they're not going to allow anybody to come between you guys. Uh, they want to protect and save and be with you because they believe in something. They believe that there's something here, you know, uh, emotional, strong bond or something, you know. So that's the Gemini. And you know, they're willing to put up a fight here just to be with you. This is the Gemini. Um, if you're seeing a Cancer Capricorn, okay, you guys might move in together or move out. So take out the resonates because this could be either that or this, you know. But if you've seen a Cancer, I believe you guys are, you know, leaving um, rough waters into common waters now. If you're seeing a Cancer, it's possible for some of you, it's a long distance kind of connection, okay. Uh, but I see here that it's possible that you guys might be making plans on uh, if not living together then in the future living together moving in together, okay um, But yes, I feel that there's a necessary transition happening happening within the connection right now You might already be feeling that Whatever the transition is you probably already know I'm not clarifying cards, but you know what I'm saying. All right and then last Aquarius Capricorn if you see an Aquarius there is uh, good luck this is a good luck connection <laughs> the wheel of fortune is on your side with Aquarius okay Capricorn um, it's like this opportunity that if you pass out on this opportunity with the Aquarius you might not get it again okay it's a very lucky like I'm lucky to uh, to have you in my life I'm lucky that you know it's, uh, it's luck that I found you you know so and the, the wheel of fortune keeps on turning so if you don't take this opportunity with the Aquarius whatever that is coming through whatever it's going on with the Aquarius if you don't take this opportunity Capricorn you're gonna miss out on it and you're probably not gonna have it again you might have it again with somebody else good, good luck with maybe two years from now but because I feel that with the Aquarius right now this is like a grand opportunity for you to, you know, I, I believe that it's, there's um, 
a door of uh, an awesome opportunity here with the Aquarius that you should definitely enter and don't hesitate don't be afraid to fall in love with the with the Aquarius okay uh, it could be vice versa right so or a mutual thing here but this I feel that the universe is saying hey go for it go for it just let it all go go <laughs> Go with it, <laughs> okay? All right, guys, but that's it. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Gypsy Love Portal. And if anybody wants a private reading, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Ciao. Thank you. Ah, namaste. <laughs>